The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the December 20th, the magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always realize that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you, when you and I can make that one little two-by-four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, hey, we've got you covered there, too. Go ahead and let those fingers do the walking. That means go ahead and send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, in our Tiger's Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical, Magnificent, Marvelous Monday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network, I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, all the U.S. entities trading to the downside. The Dow's off 639 points, 1 in 8 tenths percent. 80 points for the S&P, 1 in 7 tenths percent. NASDAQ, 264, 1 in 7 tenths. The Russell, off 61, 2.8%. Semis down 65, 1.7%. Trennies, 2.13%, or 337 bucks. Gold is off uh, $9.30, a half a percent. Silver's off 1%. That's 21 pennies. Lightspeed crude is off 3 bucks. She's trading at 67.67. Natural gas is getting a bid. It's up 11 pennies, trading out at 380. Lead the charge dollar wise to the upside. You've got First Citizens Bank shares up nearly 5%, or 36 bucks. Arginex up 26, 8%. Quai Delcorp about 15 bucks, or 9%. Blue Rock Residential Growth up 11 bucks, 71%. Intracellular technologies or therapies is up 18% or seven buckaroonies. To the downside, it's Amazon up 73 bucks, 2%. Shopify 48, 3 and 6 tenths percent. Tesla 33, 3 and a half percent. Booking Holdings 31 bucks, 1 and 3 tenths percent. Solar Edge Technologies 28 bucks, that's nearly 10% to the downside. Now, we do have a request that is in, and I think the request, uh, I'm just going to read this because I, I did take a quick peek at it before the show. Kind of fits in a uh, segue into going and taking a look at the equity market. So this comes in from Eddie. Eddie says the NQ has been sitting at the 15.508 level all day. Let's uh, pull over. Pull over. Let's go take a look at the NQ. Well, actually, all four equity future contracts. So the NQ right now traded 15.535. Uh, so slightly above where Eddie was talking about when he sent this in. He said, which is also the 100-day moving average. So I was able to go ahead and put that on here. Let me show you that to you. So Eddie likes to use, apparently, the 100-day moving average. No problem. Let's go ahead and show that on the uh, chart out here. That's going to be in white. So you can see the 100-day uh, moving. Now, this is the exponential moving average. I don't know if he's using an exponential or a simple. The exponential printed at 15,500. Let's just see where the simple one would be at, um, 15,527. So I don't know which one to use. I, I prefer the exponential over a simple. doesn't really matter. I don't use the 100-day moving average, Eddie, but that's okay. You are. So we're just showing that so that people can follow along. Now, the key level that I'm concerned about with regard to the NQ is its prior swing point. That prior swing point was from December the 3rd. And if price closes below that, which would be 15,539, that would actually set up an A to B equals CD to the downside, or could set up an A to B equals CD to the downside. It would look like this. The A point would be the high. That's at November, um, November 22nd level. Uh, the B point would be the swing that we're taking a look at December 3rd. The C point would be the high from a few days ago back on, I can't tell which day that is, looks like the 16th. So the one-to-one -one 
if we do get a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside, that would be a close below 15,539. You're at 15,500 right now. That would take us into the 15,227 level. And at 15,303, it's the top of the weekly profile. So that's an area to be watching there. But let me go on and read his question. But it is also undercut its December 3rd low. How much more busting down before busting up because support seems to be holding so far? Do you see any hope of a Santa Claus rally? So for me, the Santa Claus rally began in the early part of October. Um, a lot of people take a look at the Santa Claus rally. Some people use it after Christmas. So, you know, so it's all over the board there. So let's just take a, let's not worry about the Santa Claus rally, so to speak. Let's just uh, try to see if there's any kind of a bottom signal. Is that okay with you, Ed? I, I'm going to go ahead and assume the answer is yes. So I'm going to take the 100-day moving average off. We don't have to worry about the A to B equals CD to the downside just yet because we don't know. If we take a look at the ES mini, that's in your left-hand side, you can see the price sitting on support there too. And that's the bottom of its daily profile. It's 45.29. Below that, it has support that uh, has support at 44.96, the bottom of its weekly profile. That's the real key area to be watching, Eddie, is uh, the bottom of the weekly profile for the S&P 500 or the ES Mini, in this case here, 44.96.50. If we see a weekly close below that, that would be Thursday. Markets, I believe, are closed on Friday for Christmas for the celebrate Christmas to be done on Christmas Eve out here. I, I believe that's those in New York Stock Exchange hours out there. Maybe somebody then can correct me if I'm wrong. It doesn't matter. But if there is a close below the 44.96.50 at the end of the week, whenever that time frame is, that would be suggesting a potential change in trend. So that's going to be more important to watch than really the NQ. But we're going to try to answer your NQ question. So the ES Mini sitting in support, the NQ sitting in support being your 100-day moving average out here. The, Russell, the Dow is not sitting in any kind of support level. It is below the 0.618 retracement area, Eddie, which would be of the last move up from low to high. That would be at about the 34,700 area. Prices below that typically get below a 0.618 retracement level, you might go to the 0.786 area. That would take us to 34,320. And the bottom of its daily profile is 34,230. So do we see a bottom here from a daily standpoint? We cannot say, I cannot say, I will not say that the Dow is a sitting at support. The ES, sure. The NQ, sure. The Russell 2000, not a chance. In fact, the Russell 2000 is now below its daily profile, below its weekly profile, below a nice little rising trend line. Now, I don't know where it closes at day's end, but the Russell 2000 not looking too good out here. Now, back to Eddie's question here. He's asking, you know, basically, do we see any kind of rally anytime soon? So that's a question that maybe is a little bit easier to answer. And to answer that, we're just simply going to go take a look at the NQ eight panel multi time frame charts that we have out here. So in the upper left hand corner we can see that the nq is testing a very key le level of support this is the uh, oscillator and change line for its monthly time frame now of course the month is not over that takes place next week but if we did see it close below that that could be trouble that would also be confirming a rose momentum indicator top for the nq the weekly chart doesn't really provide us with a ton of information out here so we'll skip that for now we'll take a look at the daily so in addition, Eddie, to the daily tagging your 100-day period exponential moving average, the breakout level for the NQ is 15.510. 15,510, you said 15,508. Use 15,510 as a number. This is an area, even though we don't have a bottom signal, but this is where a bottom could form. If a bottom's going to form here, we should see it on the intraday charts. I'll leave this up here, I believe, during the break that we're going into. We'll come back. We'll take a look at it. You can answer the question. How many bottoming signals do we have on those intraday time frame charts? And is that enough to say that there's a bottom in the NQ for Eddie? Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago. And the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, so we're trying to answer Eddie's question out there. I was multitasking, not doing a very good job of it. So we're, we're, we're taking a look at the NQ charts here. You know that price sitting at support, 15.510. That's a TD9 breakout level of support inside the NQ for the daily time frame. So the possibility that a bottom could be here. On the 30-minute time frame chart, that's the upper right-hand corner. I don't really have a, a – well, I take that back. I take that back. We've got wave number seven. So wave number seven formed out here at uh, noon, and uh, only a spike below 15,492 would negate that signal. So that's a bottoming signal. The 60-minute time frame has a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. That formed at 5 o'clock this morning. That bottom still has held throughout the morning out there. So uh, you've got your you've got your uh, Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom for that time frame. Here's what I would really be looking at. So I don't have a bottoming signal for the 5-hour or the 240, so 300 minute or 240. Um, there is a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom attempting to form for the 120, but the 120-minute chart is really important. And it's really important because, you know, taking a look at the Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom that formed at 5 this morning, I myself was trying to figure out why did price stop where it did at about 10 o'clock inside the NQ on that bounce. The only thing I could come up with that was logical, right? Not something Stevie tried to make up or anything, was the top of the 120 minute profile out there. So we can see that's a bullish structured profile. Price ran right into it and uh, found resistance. And so that level to be watching for each of you out there is 15,642. Eddie, I would say if you see a close above 15,642, now preferably on a two hour time frame, the current bar here closes at two. So the next one would be four, the next one would be at the uh, close in essence. Um, but that's what I would be looking for is some kind of a signal that maybe there's a bottom in. 
Um, I realize you'd like to maybe buy it now at 15,530 uh, versus wait to 15,640. But it's at the 15,640,250 at this, at this stage here for the NQ. That's the key level to be watching to give you any confirmation of any bottom of any kind of significance out there. So I don't see anything else on the other charts out there. And I hope that that answered your question. Let me just go back and make sure. Um, do you see any hope of a Santa Claus? And again, we're, we're, we're going to get rid of the Santa Claus rally idea. It's really, do we see any sign of a bottom? So I think that we've covered that. But, you know, if we're going to see a sign of a bottom here inside the NQ, we most certainly should see a sign of a bottom inside the Dow and the ES Mini. So as long as we're over here and I don't see any other questions at this moment, uh, let's go take a look at the ES Mini and see what its signals are for you and I. So let's get back up here. The ES Mini charts. And on the ES Mini, what do we see? So we see a TD9 count top for the monthly time frame. Price is still above its green oscillator and change line. So that's okay. It's neutral is really the signal. The weekly time frame chart out here, we've got wave number seven. We have a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top on a weekly time frame. So that says, okay, we could see lower price. The ES Mini at its daily time frame has a TD9 count top, has a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. And price right now is sitting at support. That's at 4537. We're at 4533. Okay, off to the 30-minute uh, chart. We've got a TD9 count bottom that is in place and a Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal. This suggests that we should see price make its way to 45.51 to 45.63. 45.61 is the TD9 count breakdown resistance level. So that's where your sellers are at. On a 60-minute time frame chart out here, I've got uh, not a zip zilch. No confirmation of Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal out here. The same is true for the 120-minute chart. We have a TD nine count bottom pattern on the uh, 240 minute chart. And as long as price does not close below the low of the day, I believe it's the low of the day, that would be at uh, 45, 26, 25. No, that's not the low of the day. But so, so let me, if there's a close below 4, 5, 6, 4, 45, 26, 25, that would negate that TD nine count signal. And you've got a TD nine count on the five hours. So interesting. You're sitting basically at support on the ES Mini, that would be both its daily time frame profile, not the one that is shown on this chart here, as well as its breakout level. Bottom signals on the 30 minute, bottom signals on the 240, bottom signals on the five hour time frame chart. So yes, it's trying to form some type of a bottom out here, not for all the time frames, but you've got enough of them, so that's good. Let's take a, a quick peek here at the uh, Dow equity future contract, try to do the same thing out there. You know, if we can see, well, we're just trying to identify for Eddie is whether or not the market is attempting to form a bottom. So in the, Dow, in the case of the Dow equity future contract, remember it has pulled back its retracement level from low to high, that TD9 count top up to the resistance level where price had broken down to that 35,900 area. We're below the 0.618 retracement, so we're kind of in mid zone out here. But the 30 minute chart has a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator bottom as a TD9 count bottom. You have uh, don't have anything for the 60 minute. You have an A to B equals CD to the downside on the 120. It has not completed. To complete that needs to get down into about the 35,500 level. Uh, you've got a TD9 count bottom for the 240 and you've got one for the five hour time frame chart. So what we don't have here, just to summarize this for you, Eddie and everybody else, we don't have clear signals. Uh, but if you're an intraday trader at this stage here, you're really watching the 30-minute chart out there. The 30-minute chart uh, should, inside the Dow Equity Future contract, get you up into the 34,792 to 34,927. Uh, interesting. That's kind of a dyslexic thing, 792 to 927. But it works for me. And um, so what are you going to be watching for here for some type of a uh, bottom? And uh, the truth is, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think I'd uh, right now in the Dow, I'd be paying more attention to the ES and the NQ. So I hope that helps you out, Eddie. Thanks so much for writing in. We've got a caller on the line. It is, who's on the line? We've got Gary. Gary in Michigan. Gary, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Hey, uh, uh, blessed uh, holidays to you and your, your loved ones, Steve. How are you, you doing? Thank you. I'm doing fine. And, and same to you. And the uh, TLT, I believe, is what you had called about. That's the ETM right. folks that basically tries to emulate uh, pretty close to 30 year treasury out here. Right now, it's trading out at 150.30. Uh, tell the folks what you're doing, how I could best help you. OK, great. Um, well, I'm always looking for insight from you because the, uh, all the great work you do. And um, I'm um, I've got. Um, options on the long side. I've been along it quite a while, uh, a few months now. Uh, but I'm um, 
got things expiring in January. Uh, I've got things throughout the whole next year in it along and at different strike points. And I've got some that are a little out of the money and a lot out of the money and obviously some in the money. Uh, but um, I'm looking to add to the position. I think it's going to go only down, in my opinion, at long term in the next year. So say that again. So you're looking I mean, to the short. The interest rates are going to go down and the TLT is going to go up. I'm, I'm looking okay. for, I'm bullish the TLT and the TM, um, whatever, the yeah, TMF. Got it, got um, it, okay. So you're you're looking, in essence, right now, you're looking for another place to possibly add to your position. Is that correct? You always do nail it. <laughs> uh, well, no, no, just, well. <laughs> just, 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 just definitely wanted to make sure. So what I want to do here, just give, if you give me a moment, uh, you don't have a choice, but uh, ZB0322, uh, I want to get those fired up on my other charts. First, we're just going to take a look at the okay. TLT. And if I was going to give you an answer as to where the entry area might be for the TLT, I would say it'd be at 149.56. Now, it would be one spot. 149.56, Gary, is the bottom of its daily profile. Another area to potentially add, uh, there's a brand new weekly profile that has formed this week. And the buy zone on this is between 145.93 and 148.23. Hey, Gary, we're about to go to a, a break here. I'm going to ask you to hold on, if you would, and come back. And uh, we'll uh, continue to take a look at the 30-year Treasury, the TLT, and do our best to assist Gary with an entry area to add to his current position. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. 
For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We're on the uh, line with Gary in uh, New Buffalo, Michigan. We're taking a look at the uh, TLT. During that break, though, I did pull up the uh, March 2022 contract for the 30-year Treasury. Now, Gary, I don't know what today's candle session will look like when it closes. If this were the close right now at 130, I'd say we have lower price coming at us when we take a look at the 30-year Treasury. And the reason is because right now we have a bearish shooting star candle. Now, it's not the bearish shooting star candle per se that has me making that statement. It is that the bearish shooting star candle is at the completion of an A to B equals C to the upside. So I'm going to go ahead and draw that pattern in here so you can see the A point out here, Gary, was December 9th, the bottom of December 9th, the low, the high of December 13th, then a retracement into the low of of December 16th. The 1 1 price projection level for the 30 year treasury was 163 and change out there. It hit that. And if this is a uh, shooting star, if this ends up being a shooting star candle, I know it is right now. I just don't know what the end of day candle is. Then this suggests lower price coming at us. This would be a Gartley buy pattern. Now, I don't know. So I, I want to go into all the potentials out there. Uh, but the first potential is really taking a look at what today's candle formation ends up being. Any questions about that so far? No, it's perfect. This is what I need. Okay, because it gave me – so during the break, so the break was kind of timely because it just gave me an opportunity just to, get, you know, without doing it, you know, on the fly and in a few seconds, you know, was able to easily spot and see that pattern out there. So with regard to where is price headed to, well, you're inside a bullish structured – a daily profile for the 30-year Treasury. So let's assume this does, I, I, you know, it, it, it may not turn out to be a Gartley sell pattern. Just depends on the end-of-day candle session. If it does, this would suggest that we could see the 30-year Treasury pull back to 160.23 or thereabouts. And that's what I would use as a gauge for a potential entry into uh, th to add to your position. If you got a close below 160.23, that could be telling us that this has turned into an A to B equals C D to the downside. So any questions about that so far? Do I have that's you, Gary? Great. No, that's great. Yeah, you got me. I just I got a little background noise, so I'm muting nope. you but listening and then okay. getting oh, back on. Perfect. Perfect. Gotcha, okay. gotcha. Perfect. So I think that um, it's it. Uh, I don't really think that I can give you what you're asking for today, only because of the fact that uh, we need to see how the 30 year Treasury ends the day. Is this a bearish shooting star candle? Now, with regard to the 30 year Treasury, let me pull over my white background chart, see what other information we can look at out here. So on the white background charts, I've got the oscillator and change line. So the low of today, if you see a close below the low of today out here, that would be another signal of prices moving lower out there. I don't know if we'd still have the uh, bear shooting star. We might. But uh, so price is sitting at a level of support. So it's kind of a little bit neutral. And we certainly need the end of day. I hate to belabor that. But I think that that's I need to see. You know, I think we come back to this tomorrow versus today, uh, if that's OK with you or, or Wednesday. Either one is great. I mean, and that's perfect. Maybe yeah, so Wednesday I'll just give a little time to kind of see where it goes. Yeah, and I'll try. I'll try to remember to look at this uh, tomorrow. Um, you know, even even if you don't call in, uh, just so you have something to go back and, and take a look at. But if you do have a bearish reversal candle, you've got a Gartley sell pattern right now in the thirty-year Treasury, and that could suggest move back into the one sixty twenty-three level. Okay. Okay, great and awesome. You uh, make it a great day, and and uh, I, I hope we talk to you before the holidays. Be well. That would be that would be great, Gary. Thanks a lot, and thanks a Merry Christmas to you and your family as well. So we've got the uh, Dow down six forty three, the S and P off eighty points right now. Um, there was a question in the Tiger's Den about my. Uh, da, 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 let me see here about the uh, the the change in the bottom of the weekly profile for the ES Mini. So we had the ES Mini roll over into the March 2022 contract. What I use is I use a synthetic version that I've created, uh, that eSignal allows me to create, that stitches together those contracts better than using a continuous contract. And so, John, that just simply has adjusted that number. That's my best guess 
as to why the number has changed, it's now 4496.53. Uh, I forget what it was before that, but those are the numbers to be paying attention to. It hasn't really changed our outlook or the uh, key level that price needs to close below other than just a newer number out there. So hopefully that answers your question. I don't think there's anything else inside the Tiger's Den. So let's go to some other questions that have come in. This one coming from Susanna in Canada. Would you please do your analysis on Mara? M-A-R-A is the uh, ticker symbol. Well, the answer is we will. Uh, let me get to our three panel charts out here. And I get that typed in, M-A-R-A. And the question is you're long and looking to add to your position. Uh, if you have time, also square. So you got it. So if we take a look at uh, Marathon Digital Holdings, what we don't like, what you don't like, is that price is below the bottom of its daily bullish structured profile. This will be, it looks like day number two or maybe day number three below that level. And it's below the bottom of its weekly profile. And it's back inside its monthly profile. So just strictly from a profile standpoint, and I'm not saying this, but the charts are saying this, 741 is where Marathon Digital Holdings could go. It's at 3187. Again, I'm not saying that's where it's going. That's just simply the next profile level that comes into play. As we open up our other daily charts, well, you've got 3189 as a key level of support. You're trading right now at 3190. A close below 3189 uh, says this wants lower price. Now, lower price to where? Let me go look at the weekly chart, see what the weekly chart says. Well, the weekly chart, geez Louise, says this could come back to a buck 85. So you've got Rhodes Mentum Indicator Top, you're below support, you're only in bar five on a weekly basis. So this says, Forget about the buck 85, not that I want you to forget about it, but the swing point area that this is likely pulling back into is about the 1843-ish type range out here. So kind of watch the 3189 area closely. Now, if you get two consecutive closes below that, it tells us we want lower price. What's the monthly chart communicate to us? Well, the monthly chart, Rose Mintum indicator, top price is below the oscillator and change line. The month is not over. But this is also suggesting lower price out there. So, geez, uh, you want to add to this position? I think we've got to get a clear bottom pattern for you on Marathon Digital. And uh, let me come back to the black background charts and just look at a conservative A to B equals CD pattern out here just to see where we're at in that. In this case here for the daily time frame, the A point's pretty easy. That's going to be the high from November 9th. The B point uh, that I would be using is the uh, low from November 18th and the C point, that retracement, up into December 1st. So, yeah, the one-to-one, -one, and was this passed with volume? The swing point had volume of 13 million shares. was passed with 17 million shares. So, Susanna, you have an A to B equals C to the downside. That's going to give you a price projection of at least twenty-one sixty-six, perhaps eleven dollars and eighty-six cents out there. So unless something changes, which that could happen at any moment, uh, Marathon Digital, I, I, you don't have a place to add to in your long this. I would make sure that I have a, a stop in place on this because. I just don't see a bottom and you're below, you're below key levels of support out there. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing. You also want to take a look at Square. Let's see if we can find an instrument to give you some good news out here. That would be nice. SQ is the uh, ticker symbol. And oh, so in the case of Square, you're below the bottom weekly and monthly profile levels out there. Son of a gun. So let's go see if we can find any good news here for Susanna. And on the uh, daily time frame, we're going to go to a breakout here. So do me a favor, Susanna. Hold with us through that break. We'll come back. Finish taking a look at Square. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. 
LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at ticker symbol SQ. That is square. It used to be square. And uh, so, Susanna, you've got a Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal that's been triggered. And what this needs is a bullish reversal candle. And then it needs a close above that oscillator and change line. That's that red squiggly line that we're looking at. And you can see how that really is held as a key level of resistance. We have not seen two consecutive closes above that line uh, since... Uh, October the 29th out there. So it's a key area uh, right now that's printed about 168 and change. Don't know what it will be as uh, the days proceed out here, but you don't have a bottoming signal inside of Square. If you are long, make sure you have a stop in place. The weekly chart, you are going to form or appears you will form bar number eight of a TD9 count. Remember, the low of that pattern needs to form on either bar eight, bars eight, nine, or the bar following that. So it could be a bottoming signal um, that, would, uh, that, that could form this week. Uh, but it could also form two weeks from now. So watch the daily time frame. That would be the initial signal of a potential bottom. The weekly, I'm sorry, the monthly looks horrible. TD9 count top, price below breakout support, price below the bottom of its weekly pro, uh, monthly profile. That is at 177.52. This suggests that you could see a move to 42.33. I'm not saying that. That's that's open. But so watch the weekly and watch the daily charts out there. They will be the ones that should provide you with the best signals. I hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in, and uh, happy holidays to you and your family. Uh, Mike S. writes in. Mike wants to take a look at uh, the 4496 TAS weekly support on the ES Mini corresponds to what number on the SPY? On the SPY. So that would be great question. Uh, so we're looking at the bottom of the weekly profile, and that's going to be 445.23. So here, if I expand the weekly time frame chart for the SPY, um, what you will see is that all of the bottom of the weekly profile levels, when prices move back there, and this is since the uh, low from back in March of 2020, it's a weekly chart that we're looking at, each of those areas has been the by the dip area. or the, And so that would be 445.23, and it closed below that, uh, very similar to when we closed below its bullish structure profile on February 24th, or the week that began 
February 24, 2020 out there, we saw, you know, price continue to move lower. And I would expect we would see uh, something similar, at least a further retracement. We'd have to go take a look at other profiles. So uh, what is the TAS weekly bottom support for the Qs? Okay, let's go answer that question as well. We put up the QQQ. We put up its weekly level. It should be down quite a ways. So no, I take that back. I take, oh, price is sitting at it right now. That would make sense. So that level out here, what happened to my, uh, that's weird. Give me a moment. I have to see if I can get my data box back. Where'd the data box go? Uh, yikes. Data window. There we go. So now the, the number is 379.51. We're trading at 379.45 right now. So this thing is really sitting at support. That's on the queues. Let me go back here and take a look at the NQ. Yeah, so that's not really tying out. So this is this is where, Mike, we've got a bit of a, a difference out here. Let me go back to this set of charts. So here on the Q is the NQ, and this is the number I would be using. I mean, I'll go back and maybe study it, but the number that I'd be using would be 1480458. That's the monthly bottom of its profile for the NQ out there. To me, that's the more solid one than the number that I just gave you for the uh, QQQ series ETF. But but I could be off my rocker as well. But the, you see the same kind of pattern with regard to price point back to the bottom of those weekly profile levels and holding a support. So that's what I would be uh, looking at, Mike. I hope that that helps you out. And uh, thanks so much for writing in. The next question is from Pradeep. And Pradeep says, uh, just following up on this one, what price would one cover a Tesla short? position that started at around 800 bucks so let's go put up our three time frames out here for tesla t-s-l-a is the uh, ticker symbol and so uh, pradeep is short as he said from about 800 bucks this is short from 800 uh so uh and this is trading at 900 so you're 100 bucks in the uh, hole out here if i'm reading this correctly maybe maybe you mistyped it I'll go with with that. But uh, so what you're basically asking me to try to do is to find support for you. So that's how I'll take that question. I was just trying to get this data box back in line here. And uh, so we're taking a look at So with regard to Tesla, price right now is below the bottom of its daily profile out there. And uh, that was a bull structured profile. That suggests lower price. It is trading back into an area where it had broken out with from with nice volume back on October 25th. You're you're below that uh, breakout level, so to speak. But you know, I'd really say that, that that would be down at this gap here. This gap here being the October 18th area. So that would become a target area. We're going to look at my other chart. That's in about the 844 level. 87608, though, that's going to be your first level of profile support. That is assuming that Tesla does not close back above 95708. So that's the other area that I'd be watching, Pradeep, because price is closed below the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile. If there is a counter trend rally for Tesla, the level where that counter trend move should end is at about 957.08. That is the center of that bearish structured profile. If you saw a close above that, that would be giving you a signal that price could move back to 1072. That's not what we have. Let me get Tesla going on my other screens out here. Let me just do daily, weekly Tesla, and we'll pull this over here. It should be momentarily. So I still haven't answered your question because we're really trying to find it. Well, the first level would be 876.08 is a target. Doesn't mean you would close it out. You'd want to see some type of bottoming pattern for that. Let's take a look at Tesla on a daily time frame. So the next level of support here is 855.50. Your bar number six. This could form a TD9 count bottom uh, by Thursday out here. And if it does, and price above 855.50, that would then at least give you a signal, Pradeep, of a move back to its oscillator and change line. That's currently printed at 1,002. It'll be a different number with that bottom forms. But you can see that the oscillator and change line has formed color, has changed color. And uh, that tells us that over the coming sessions, we don't know how many, that price and that line should catch up to each other. Typically, the pattern will complete. That pattern says, okay, you're in bar number six, you know, baby, by Wednesday, you get bar number eight. Thursday, you get bar number nine. It could be on Monday uh, where you get that final type bottom. But I'd be watching the 855.50 level on a weekly time frame chart. See if there's any additional information out here. You've got that 876 level. That's the top of its profile. If price were to close below, you'd be looking at 771, maybe 627. And the monthly chart out here says watch 886. 
that's a level of support. And if you can get below that, then that would suggest lower price out there. So back to the uh, drawing board out here. The first level to be watching is going to be that 855.50 ish area. And you're going to want to see some type of bottom as price gets down there. So I hope that helps you out, Pradeep. And uh, best of luck to you on that trade. Uh, we've got uh, about 30 seconds here before we go to break. Let's go out to John in Philly. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Steve, I'm very well. Uh, excuse me. Very good. Thanks for taking good. the call. My pleasure. Steve, My pleasure. Uh, Steve wanted to ask you in your last segment, so I'll hold through this break, yep. about just ideas that you have from now into the end of the year, which is literally just two weeks away, and things that might uh, pivot or turn uh, two weeks out. So uh, I just wanted to get your thoughts or introduce that question uh, today going into tomorrow and Wednesday. So um, that's the uh, topic of my call. Sounds great. We'll uh, try to review that when we get back from this break with John in Philly. See Roach with TFNN. Be back shortly. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, John had to uh, take off, so I'm just going to go ahead and answer that question um, for everybody else that, that, that is uh, still listening. In. And uh, so I've got the spy chart up on my screen out here. So here's what we know about the spy is 154 in the afternoon. The last time that price was down in this area was back on December 3rd. That uh, was uh, that low out there was uh, 448.92. The volume on the move lower was 137 million shares. So we're now 9 30, 10 30, 11 30, 12 30, 1 30. We're now four and a half hours. See how I can do that with my fingers? It's just amazing, my ability to add and subtract. So we're four and a half hours and we're 55 million shares. So price is pulling back into support, the bottom of its daily profile, 450.99. The low so far today has been 451.14 and is doing so with lighter volume. We're in a choppy period. There's nothing to suggest that we're not in a consolidation. So I would expect that we would see some type of bottom here. We're in the favorable seasonal cycle. I'm not expecting that we're going to see the highs get taken out. I believe the highs for the year are in, and that's across the board for all of the indices out there. I also believe that that is a dangerous thing. That suggests that we should see at least January or the early part of January into the late part of January. The markets move lower. Uh, it may be for more than just that time period out here. So I would expect that we'd see the SPY maybe bounce to 463 or 467. What happens if price closes below 450.99? Excellent question. The next level I'd be watching would be 445.23. That's the top portion of the center panel that we're looking at because the bottom portion is the SMHs. The SMHs right now today are trading below the bottom of their bullish structured weekly profile. Again, I don't know what the close will be at the end of the week. But if we get two weekly closes, both the SMHs and the SPY, below the bottom of their weekly profiles, then, then, the, then Santa will be delivering coal. I can guarantee it, as much as I can guarantee anything. Folks, thanks so much for being tuned. Uh, stay, uh, stay, uh, stay on board with us. You've got two more great hours. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Tom O'Brien, he'll take us on home from 3 to 4. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday. Have a marvelous Monday, folks. Thanks for joining us. Take care now.